If you suffer from migraines or headaches on a regular basis, or even just on the odd occasion, then this video is for you. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Yolanda Melody. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about the natural remedies that I have used that have completely and utterly eradicated the headaches and the migraines altogether. If you watched my previous video about my experience with cocodamol, this is a follow-up. For anybody who hasn't watched that video, I would recommend to watch it, but if you just want a brief synopsis, I never ever used to suffer from migraines until I started using cocodamol. After five years of using cocodamol intermittently, I started to suffer severe migraines. What I'm gonna do in this video is explain the things that I've tried that didn't work, and towards the end of the video, I'm gonna give you two of my solutions that you could use right now to stop your migraine. So in my previous video, I mentioned about the night where I felt really, really sick from the worst migraine I've ever had. And because of the cocodamol, I was under the belief that I had liver poisoning. Now on that night in particular, I was pretty desperate trying to find anything that would stop this migraine. However, I was not willing to take any aspirin or paracetamol because the reason why I was in that predicament in the first place was because of the medication that I was taking, the cocodamol. Anyway, on that night, luckily, the only thing that seemed to relieve my migraine was using a facial steamer. The relief that I felt from the facial steamer was absolutely astounding and it is something that I would recommend but it's not one of the two solutions that I'm gonna speak about later on. But what I did was I put my face in this facial steamer, I let the steam go up into my nasal passages and on that night it fixed the migraine. And because of that, I started to believe that I had some form of chronic sinus blockages that were causing these migraines. I've never had sinus issues before, but I kind of put two and two together and was like, okay, that's the answer then. I need to make sure that I don't have any sinus blockages. As time went on, I would always go to the steamer to prevent headaches if I felt like they were coming on. And if I already had a headache or a migraine, I'd use the steamer and it would fix it. However, it didn't take long before the steamer stopped working. I became quite obsessive about making sure that I didn't have sinus blockages, so I would have spicy food all the time. I even bought one of those neti pots, did a load of research about it, and then chickened out at last minute because people were scaremongering and saying that if the water that you put in the neti pot isn't completely sterile, then you could end up with worse sinus problems. So I was just too scared at that point to mess anything up. So then I was back to the drawing board and I just tried everything to avoid getting a migraine. So, I mean, it's pretty hard because I do YouTube, but I have to film in front of a ring light that is so bright. I have two umbrella lamps next to me. I have to stare at the screen for hours and edit. I'm basically always around computer screens and technology. And what started to happen was the migraines became more frequent. I'd quit cocodamol by this point, by the way. I haven't taken any cocodamol for about five months but I keep a diary log of each day and I write down if I have a migraine and what I noticed was that it was just happening more and more frequently. And then I started to seek alternative advice. Not in person, but I have a book. This is not my book, by the way. Now, I'm dubious as to whether or not I should mention this doctor's name. There was a phase where her videos got completely removed by YouTube for pushing alternative remedies and speaking against the system, but I strongly, wholeheartedly support this woman. I think what she does is incredible. Both me and my dad go to her channel and her website and her book for answers, herbal remedies, knowledge, and I would highly recommend for you guys to check out her channel while her and YouTube are doing okay at the moment. <laughs> anyway, 
What I'm going to do is I'm going to read you a small section of this book. This section is dedicated to headaches and migraines. Now, I did everything that she said to do in this paragraph and my migraine went within the hour and weirdly, I have not had a migraine since. The title of this book, as you can see, is Healing with DMSO. You may or may not have ever heard of DMSO. I will be doing a video eventually about it. However, I want to do further research just so that I know as much as physically possible about it. So the full name of DMSO is dimethyl sulfoxide. It is completely natural. And one of its many uses is that if you mix it with another herbal remedy, Remedy, it will absorb much deeper and faster into the skin. When using DMSO, you have to be extremely careful that everything is completely and utterly clean because whatever you mix with the DMSO, it's gonna seep into the skin a lot deeper than normal. So it says here that ideally you should apply this mixture at the first sign of the migraine. Try and catch it as early as possible. However, with me, I already had a full-blown migraine and this remedy still worked. So it says here specifically, rub a 50% solution of DMSO in water, aloe gel juice or aloe gel over the temples. Now I've tried this without DMSO and weirdly the aloe vera does actually help on its own but adding the DMSO will make it 10 times more potent and work a lot quicker. So a lot of people don't know about DMSO but they have aloe vera so if you're desperate and you have like a migraine now or tomorrow, you can still do all of these steps with just aloe vera. So once you've got the mixture intact, make sure that your hands are completely clean. And what I did was I put it on my forehead here, my temples, the throat and the back of the neck, and then onto the liver area. Now it all seems very strange. Why would you apply it to the liver? So I'm gonna read this part of the book out to you now. You might be wondering why I've recommended application over the liver area. This is because liver filters the totality of your blood volume every three to four minutes and is a master organ of the endocrine system. So treatment here supports the entire body. Your liver is under your right rib cage and spans across the abdomen so try to apply the DMSO mixture on top of this area. You can continue applying the mixture three times a day as needed. Now, that's all that I did. I didn't take a teaspoon of the DMSO like it recommends in here. I only applied the mixture to my body and the areas mentioned. The next solution is my absolute favorite. I have become obsessed with magnesium so much so that I'm gonna be doing an entire video about magnesium. I'll probably do a part one and part two. This is another thing that this doctor has gone into in depth, but also I discovered more about this from a guy called Adrian on YouTube. So about a month ago, I was suffering a really, really bad migraine to the point where I felt so sick that I couldn't move. And my intuition kept telling me, you need to research about magnesium. Magnesium, actually absorbs better through the skin than it does when you take it orally as a supplement or when you have it in food. I am now of the belief that everybody is magnesium deficient unless they know about magnesium and are making a conscious effort to up their magnesium. So I have these things called magnesium flakes. <laughs> this stuff is a lifesaver. And what I love about it is it's so simple. This stuff is basically from the sea. These magnesium flakes originally come from dead sea salt. One of the many symptoms of magnesium deficiency is migraines and headaches, among many other things. So what I did was I took like three handfuls of this stuff and I soaked my feet in it for about, well, probably about half an hour. But the migraine disappeared within 10 minutes. And now what I do is I carry a magnesium spray around with me, make sure to shake it up, and I literally spray it on my arms. <laughs> 
I haven't had a migraine or anything that even feels like it could be a migraine for a month at least. And that's a big, big thing for me because the past month, let me tell you now, I have been under some very, very stressful situations. Everything that could trigger a headache has happened this month and I haven't had a headache. Now I don't want to make this video too long, I just want to give you the basics right now, but for now if you get hold of some pure magnesium flakes, mix it in with some water, either put the magnesium flakes into a bath or do like a little spray bottle like I do, as long as it absorbs into the skin that will up your magnesium levels and honestly I just feel like it's made me feel so much healthier, so much more energetic. It's done a lot more for me than just fix my migraines. And that's why I'm gonna do a whole video about it. So stay tuned for next week. I am really excited about talking about magnesium. It's like my best friend right now. <laughs> but yeah, this is my experience with headaches and migraines. And in this video, I'm just talking about what I did to get rid of them. If you enjoyed this video, if you found it helpful, please make sure to drop it a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Love you, bye.